This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your weekly wisdom. Today, I want to share with you some, some ideas that have been brought to me by Raymond Charles Barker. Raymond Charles Barker was an author and a leader in the New Thought spiritual movement. In 1916, his parents, who were Presbyterian, found this new thought, and they found a Unity Church. As a teenager, Raymond Charles Barker began uh, assuming responsibilities at the church. He began his formal studies at Unity with what was called at that time the Unity Ministerial Summer Program. Students would go back for a month to Unity Village and spend a month in studies for several years. He began his program in 1935 and finished in 1938. While studying to be a minister, he organized the Unity Church of Syracuse, New York. He actually, Raymond Charles Barker, was a student of Charles Fillmore. And in fact, Charles Fillmore ordained Raymond Charles Barker, which was a beautiful, beautiful idea. In 1940, he visited Los Angeles and met with religious science founder, Ernest Holmes, who attracted Raymond Charles to the religious science. At Ernest Holmes' request, Raymond Charles Barker founded the first church of religious science in Manhattan, New York. And the rest, as they say, is history. Under Barker's leadership, the church grew and grew and grew. They outgrew every facility that they had. And finally, they began holding their Sunday services at the Alice Tully Hall in Lincoln Center. Raymond Charles Barker was a talented, talented man. As I said, he was an author. He wrote Treat Yourself to Life, Science to, of Successful Living, um, li Living in, in uh, and, and he wrote many others. In fact, one, 365 Days of Richer Living, was one of his books that I, I read every day. He also had a wonderful radio program that many would not have missed. On, on a weekly basis, he came out with the, his wonderful truths. Two of his students went on to become well-known in their own right. Author and publisher Louise Hay was a student of Raymond Charles Barker, and she has many, many wonderful, wonderful stories about Raymond Charles. The other student that became very well known is uh, Reverend Dr. Stuart Grayson. I had the opportunity uh, to attend a number of Raymond Charles Barker's lectures and to have met him personally. To me, he was an exquisite example of his beautiful belief and his teaching. I want to share with you today from his book, The Science of Successful Living, a prayer treatment. Raymond Charles Barker is known for his clear, direct teachings and powerful, powerful ideas on living a happy, successful, thriving, fulfilled life. So this is his prayer treatment that I like to affirm for myself quite frequently. Here it is. I now dedicate my whole area of my mind to the divine purpose of creative living. I refuse to be an average person with mediocre results in my life. God placed within me the genius of spirit. I am no longer in bondage to the past, either mentally or emotionally. Every limited pattern in my subconscious mind is now obliterated by this treatment, which is the word of God. I consciously think new 
and greater ideas. And these subconsciously are, are of my thinking. Therefore, through the action of God in me, there now appears in my world increased good in every form. And this is the affirmation. Mediocre results in my life is not an option. God placed within me the genius of spirit. Therefore, through the action of God in me, there appears in my world greater and greater and greater increased good of every form. And so it is. It is done. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful week.